Brothers and sisters, it's good to connect with you again during this season of isolation. We have a great vision here in the Diocese of Tasmania to be a church for Tasmania, making disciples of Jesus. Our own discipleship is so important in this vision. While things are very unusual at the moment, it seems to me that they give us a unique opportunity to take a deep breath and grow in the Lord in a new way. My psalm this morning was Psalm 77. It begins with these words. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. In the day of trouble, I seek the Lord. Later in verse 11, we read, I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. This season would be a good one to focus on growing our own spiritual maturity, to cry aloud to the Lord and recall his deeds in the world. Maybe through some reading, developing a new habit of prayer or some other spiritual discipline, we can grow in him at this time. Make sure you don't miss the opportunity of a quieter and slower pace to lean into God a little more. Even though we're in isolation, It would be great to find ways of connecting beyond our church as well, to be a church for Tasmania. I'm sure you can think of people who are not yet followers of Jesus, who you could reach out to in practical love and connection. Even a chat over the back fence, sharing your hope and inner peace, might be just the word of encouragement your neighbour needs. Finally, I want to call you to pray for our world by inviting all Tasmanian Anglicans to join me on Sunday afternoon for an hour of prayer for this whole coronavirus situation. We're going to meet online to gather people to pray for our state and nation, to ask for God's healing and help. Please plan to join me at 3.30 on Sunday afternoon. The details are below and on our website. God bless you all.